Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Are you kidding? I missed a full face of makeup. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a massive Sephora US shopping haul and try on. So as we go, I've tried all the products on my face as well. I recently went to New Orleans and I saw a Sephora. So what do I do? I stop there for one and a half hour and I go crazy shopping, okay? We have some Patrick Ta, Rare Beauty, Makeup by Mario, Give, Fenty Beauty, Maybelline. We've got Merit, we've got all of it. Happy with the final result. I'm glowing to the gods and I feel so amazingly happy right now. It's the happy hormones with the makeup. But yeah, without further ado, let's quickly jump into this makeup video okay so we're gonna jump right into skin prep and i want to put some products that i already have i just got this in pr so these are the mini charlotte tilbury skincare products like the pre-makeup products which i'm so excited for because i love these and i think they're the mini size which if it's available i think you should get it if you're a makeup junkie and if you care about super glowy skin i think ct makes one of the best makeup products like i love ct personally so yeah i'm gonna go in and use this first we're gonna go bougie today okay so the charlotte tilbury magic cream instant turnaround moisturizer I remember using a whole tub of this. It is so expensive, but it is like literally gold, but it's worth it. Okay, then I'm gonna use, oh, should I have used this first? This is the serum. Maybe I should have used the serum and then the moisturizer. Younger looking miracle skin. Chalo, let's use it anyway. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. Look at my skin, it's absolutely glowing and beautiful. Okay, so let's put on some makeup. So first thing I got in base products, I got two base products and I'm gonna do half and half just to test it out. So the first one, and I've been waiting to get this on so long, it's just been a journey. For us who live in India, like why is it so difficult for us to get the makeup we love? I don't know, brands take forever to launch here, but I'm glad that I get to you know, take a trip once in a while and get all of this. It's like literally a candy store for me. So I got the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation and this is in 6W. There were so many shades with so many undertones, which is fantastic. But I was like, am I a 9 or am I a 6? There's like a hair of a difference. Now I got 6W. Let's see if I got this right. So I'm just going to put this all over my face and massage it in. I've heard such good things about this foundation, you guys, that I had to get it. Yeah, they seem like it's got some glow to it. I don't know. I'm going to start off with, oh God, I was supposed to use the other base and I put this all over my face. I forgot. I completely forgot. You know, what this shade is actually spot on for me i think it's pretty nice once i blend it all out i think it matches with my neck our skin tone is very different on our face nose neck under eyes so it's not all one shade you know so i think overall i think i did a good job by picking this shade up so if you're an nc30 in mac um another foundation i can give you is maybelline fit me i'm a 230 in maybelline fit me so if you're a 230 then 6w would be your actual shade in the mario foundation i mean it's great I don't know, it's not like blowing my mind. It's Is it slightly heavy? I think it's slightly heavier than I'm used to because um, I can see a little bit of heaviness around my cheek. Maybe it's my skin. I've been traveling a lot, so I don't know whether it's performing the best. But apart from that, I think it's great. It's got coverage. It's luminous. And look at the look at the skin. It's got a lot to do with the skin prep as well. I have actually two more base products. So I got the Maybelline Superstay 24-hour skin tint and this is in the shade 120 okay again lots of shades and i was super impressed and it was very difficult to pick a shade because again head of a difference but i think 120 suits me perfectly i have another sort of complexion product here this is from merit cosmetics it's the minimalist perfecting complexion stick okay and this is in the shade bisque i'm gonna show you this so this is i love merit i used to see this all over instagram and Hope and wonder when I would be able to get this and here it is. Okay, let's see. It's ooh, so pretty. Guys, look at perfect for travel. Like it's not liquid. It's just straight stick. Okay, so I'm going to just draw lines down my face. Oh, that's a spot on match. I don't know how I do this. <laughs> I'm good at it, I guess. In store, I can match myself very well. Online, I goof up a lot. And I'm just going to blend it all out. I've never been into foundation sticks, weirdly enough. I like them, but I've always preferred liquid foundation. Maybe that's about to change for me. Okay, that literally blended so well into the skin. I'm gonna try the Maybelline Super Skin Tint in the next video. I don't wanna do that right now because my face is already a lot. That is a spot on match. But dude, this is so easy. Just on the go, if I have to just like put on... No! 
I am going to put this right back in. It could have been because of the travel that it cracked, but this better not crack because I'm going to use it. I really like it. So we're going to be careful with this, okay? I guess we can't travel with it. <laughs> nice and skin-like. I would actually choose this foundation like this is also pretty great but i think it's a notch heavier than i'm used to this is something i would go for like on the daily i think it's so skin like it just melted right into my skin and it looks like one like it's meshed with my skin really beautifully okay base is set i think it's pretty great clearly i like the merit side a little bit better because of how skin like it is um i'm going to move on to concealer now now for concealer i think i have one that i picked up which is from the brand house labs which is lady gaga's brand this is in the shade light medium golden 23 okay so again tons and tons of shade i don't think we would have a problem selecting our shade if we lived in the u.s unfortunately i don't think I don't think India very sadly has a lot of shade range where it just is compatible for every skin tone and undertone. Over there in Sephora, you see warm, you see olive, you see warm neutral, olive neutral, you see every combination of undertone possible and literally 40 shades straight up and you will just find your shade. And that's what I love of how inclusive brands are over there. And I feel like that's why we need the brands to come down to India because they cater to our undertones and our skin tones. And they have the deepest, darkest foundation with undertones as well, which I love. And that's why I'm a little like bummed out that we don't get the ideal. Our foundation always looks gray, looks ashy. That's because we don't have the right undertone over here. I'm guessing this is going to be full coverage. I like the, it's a little different. I like the bottle. That is a beautiful match. Yay, good job. I'm thank God because guys, these products were not cheap. I'm glad that I could match my like, complexion because then it, it would go to waste literally and my heart would break wasting so many dollars. Okay, so one more thing I repurchased and stocked up on was the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. And this is in shade number three, Rose or rosé and I had to get this one guys I already have one but I stocked up because I don't want to run out of this powder so that's something I got let's set the face okay then I'm gonna pick up some more powder why is my lighting a little yellow sorry I'm shooting on my vlogging camera okay so now for my brows we're gonna use benefit of course so I was in New Orleans recently with benefit cosmetics I went for their new brow launch this is the precisely my brow detailer okay you guys know the precisely my brow pencil it is my favorite it's just different I've used other brow pencils but I just love this so much it is the tiniest nib and it's so beautiful on the brows and then precisely my brow pencil precisely my brow detailer now the detailer has uh, the thinnest nib on the market they have they have taken that line away because it is true and this is what it looks like it's super super thin and you have this like sort of bouncy let me show it to you it's like a bouncy nib look how skinny right the best part about this is that it is um, retractable and you don't have to sharpen it that's what i love and you can get like a precise application each time so for all of you who already have fuller brows and need like a sparse area filled you just have to use the detailer it's beautiful and for those of you who have lesser hair and want more natural looking hair then you can just draw your hair strokes on with the detailer it's not launched in india it's going to launch later on which i will announce for you guys so stay tuned it's an amazing brow product and then of course we have the precisely my brow wax okay again brand new I i'm in the shade five and six so either or and this is just a beautiful brow wax that pushes all the product up so let's just go ahead and try it all clean up because it is tinted so you're gonna get a little bit of um pigment here but just and it's literally set in place it's a brow wax it's not hard gel it's like really soft to the touch but it sets the brow in place so and this is the 24 hour brow setter there are so many brow products i think they have about 45 brow products or something they were saying they're like the best in the game guys when it comes to brows just benefit 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 you have everything you'll ever need i'm gonna get rid of this bake because i've been baking for a while now so now let's move on i'm super excited to try the next products okay i have a lot of blush and bronzer so i want to show you guys so i got this milk makeup bronzer this is in the shade dazed okay and it's such a tiny bronzer i love my minis if you know me you know i love travel size products let's try it because i've heard really good things about it i'm gonna take this it's got a cap off so i'm gonna take that off go directly onto the skin 
Ooh, this is actually light, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make everything work because it costs dollars, okay? Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. It just, I didn't even have to do much. It blended in very seamlessly, which I like. Otherwise, it gets very patchy and difficult to blend. Like, you just do this and it's gone. It's into the skin and it's melted so beautifully. I've heard so much about these milk bronzers and I'm so excited to try it and it's so worth it. Okay, so the next product I got was the One Size Beauty Bronzer. This is made for shade Bronze and Scud Trio and this is in the shade Light Trio. We get one size in India. We do, we do. Okay, but I don't know if this product is out yet. We can check Sephora, but this is how it looks. It's just a bronzer trio, which is fantastic because I can just travel with this palette. I don't have to take a bronzer and a contour product and a lighter, darker shade. I think this is stunning. I'm just going to give this a shot. I know now any boy or anyone who does no makeup might think that's all the same shade. It's really not. Okay, we have the shade Attention Needed, Tea Drinker and Clock It. And I feel like they're all meant for different things. This is a lighter contour. This is a cooler tone one. This is a darker shade. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the lighter shade, which is Attention Needed. And I'm just going to stipple it on. Wow, that is it. That's it. Look at that. Oh my God, that is... Mm extra pigmented but it good it's gonna give you like a massively contoured face which is great i love the undertone of this product the first shade is perfect you guys i'm gonna go in with tea drinker and i'm just going to put that here going in with the lightest shade attention needed and i'm gonna contour my nose but dude i am sculpted to the gods i think it's such a good product you guys very very good the milk and in the combination i think the light is like the perfect like undertone for brown skin at least as brown as i am i think the light uh, trio is your right fit bunch of blushes that i'm going to take you through and we're going to decide which one we want to try on and then i'm going to just use the rest in the following videos that are upcoming so the first one is the milk makeup lip and cheek lip and cheek this is great this is in the shade work Okay, that is a very pretty shade. I think I more or less pick up the same shades when it comes to blush. I don't go all crazy and experiment. The next one is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. This is the Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Bronze. Oh, we had a bronzer. We had a bronzer. Okay, and it's by Fenty Beauty. Great. I, I didn't think I would pick that up, but I did, apparently. I love me a good cream bronzer. I do. Guys, my makeup is sweating. It be sweating all over. Look at that. That looks very deep, actually. That's the shade gonna work out next we have the makeup by mario soft pop plumping blush veil this is in the shade rose crush and i love makeup by mario in general i'll buy anything he puts out because he is okay chef's kiss now i picked the shade because it's a little bit uh, it's a deeper rose color it's a romantic color and it's a cream blush i've heard great things i'm gonna do a swatchy so it's a little bit of a corally shade you can see both of them side by side one is pink and the next one is slightly a deeper pink okay and then we have the merit flush balm cheek color and this is in the shade beverly hills how cute i think this is just made for travel oh Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. It's such a soft, romantic color. It's so gorgeous. Maybe I'm gonna do this. I don't know. Then my last blush is the powder blush. I hope that's the last one. I'm not seeing any other. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Blush. Now this is a color. This is in Big Ego. And I got like a slightly like shocking but <laughs> That's gorgeous. Oh my God. Oh, it's cream. It's cream. I thought it was powder. Look at this color. I bought this on purpose because I'm like, this is going to be a fun one. It's very, very, oh my God. This is not going to last, dude. Look at this color though. It's popping. Should I? I think I should. Yes, that is very pigmented. Yes, that is very pigmented. So I'm taking it on my hand. I'm just like blending it out. That is so pretty. That is so, it's not as as dangerous as it looks in the pan if you sort of like blend it out on your palm and then apply it it's gorgeous the mario foundation the cream bronzer the cream blush is just doing it for me i know oily skin girls are just like freaking out on their seat right now but i'm, I'm gonna set it okay i'm gonna try this merit blush in beverly hills it's a flush balm all over my cheek 
absolutely sheer it's like a sheer with the color you know i'm gonna i'm gonna be digging all these products you guys so now we have our blush down and our bronzer we're gonna move on to the eyes which i'm excited about but i have two very similar looking palettes because that's just who i am you know i just i just, I just didn't pick up any other shade range um i picked up this one i have to have all of patrick tower's palette this is the patrick tower for eyes major dimension three look you guys all neutral colors and this is the palette of my dream because this is what i look for when i look for an eyeshadow palette it's either all rose tones or all neutral tones and he put a black in it which is it has my heart there's a white shade and a cream shade these two are very important for me and black is really important for me and i think that he just nailed the undertones of all of this there's a cool tone row and there's a warm tone row and there's a cream shadow in case you guys want it as well okay so oh my gosh guys ah! then we have the makeup by mario palette this is um in the shade master matte so uh there's not really much of a difference here i don't know i'm a makeup collector if you love makeup so much you just know why you have to have these palettes it makes no sense it's like having 15 pink shades and 15 nude shades you know what i mean look at this you guys it's like literally the same tone it's the same tone you know you can have either or you don't have to have it just really depends uh, whether you're a fan of makeup and the price point as well uh, this may differ you can check the link down below it's matte one two three four five six seven eight he's just like i can't waste time on this i have better things to do and then over here we have shades like non-negotiable trademark impressive irreplaceable fundamental essential he's he went deep Okay, I'm going to take the shade Irreplaceable and I'm going to put that all over my eyes. I, I don't need to say a lot about Patrick Tower's formulations. I think it speaks for itself. It's nailed out of the park. I'm going to go in with... Mm, I don't know what shade to go in with. I'm so excited. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. This is the shade uh, Classic. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye just to warm it up a little bit. I'm going to take an eyeliner brush and I'm picking up the shade Staple. It's a dark black shade and I'm putting that on my lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with the deep brown shadow and I'm just going to blend the black uh, on my lash line and just make it very smooth. I'm taking the shade Non-Negotiable. This is a beautiful cream shade. And I'm putting that on the inner corner of my eye. I love it. I love this. Um, my cheeks are like shining, dude. I love the transition from like light to smoky. I think it's so classic. I'm going to pick up the shade Crucial and I'm just going to blend the light and dark shadows together. So this is basically it. I think it blended so beautifully. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Makeup by Mario palette and do the exact same thing. I'm going to pick up this shade right here and I'm going to put that all over my eye. I must point out that the Patrick Ta eyeshadows are much more buttery and smoother in blending. Makeup by Mario, it's great. Like, I think it's fantastic. There is no, I have no complaints. It's just that like the feel of the product seems more luxe on the Patrick Ta side of it. They're literally the same palettes, you guys. Like, I don't even, <laughs> why Miles? Why? You know, just like, go back and think about why I did certain things. And I'm just like, you just needed it. The heart wants what it wants. I love that brightness, you guys. Do you see that pop? The blendability of both was fantastic. The deposit of the color was fantastic. The pigmentation was great. The, everything was spot on. I don't have a complaint about either of the eyeshadow palettes. I think they're both worth the price given the creators and the brands. So I don't mind spending money on creator brands because I truly, truly feel like they know what they're doing. The outcome of both was the same, okay? Now, which one do I prefer? Patrick Ta, because I really love the luxness and the butteriness of the shadow. It's just 0.1% butterier and creamier and gorgeous on the eye in blendability form. And I have all Patrick Ta's palettes, the main ones. Uh, Major Dimension 1, 2 and 3, I have all of them and I really gravitate towards them no matter what. This is my first Makeup by Mario palette and I also think it's fantastic. It's been a while since I've been like crazy about any like sort of music or Bollywood song. I mean, they're all great but to this movie, I was like on repeat, on repeat. I could not stop listening to it my entire trip in New Orleans. It just made me feel closer to home and in general like watching Shahid Kapoor dance is like blessing my eyes okay now let's go ahead and curl my lashes did i pick up any mascara mascara i did not so for mascara this is a new launch i didn't purchase it but this is the clinique high impact high five full volume mascara in 01 intense black and it's a pretty nice mascara now i don't think of 
Clinique when I think of makeup, but they did a very good job with this mascara. I must say, I have been going forward and using this mascara every time I want to do my lashes, which speaks volume about the mascara. And of course, it has, it has no fragrance. It has great um, ingredients. I think it's so fantastic. I really like this mascara a lot. It's done a lot for my lashes. So for lip products, you guys, I got two lip liners. One is a repeat purchase. I love this lip liner when I got it last, the last year. This is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut 606. It is like the perfect pink mauve nude. It's such a good color. I repurchased it. That means I really love it. We get Makeup Forever in India, so that is fantastic. This is such a beautiful pinky nude brown. It's slightly cool tone, which I love and looks great on the lip. The next one I have is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Sweet Sculpting Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Spiced Chai. They're almost similar. This one is a little mauve and pink. This one is brown, like a true brown nude. I'm gonna try the Makeup by Mario because I've used the Wherever Walnut multiple times. I was trying to look for a cool toned brown, but I wasn't able to get a cool toned brown. I think they really need to make more cool toned colors because I personally love a cool toned lip liner than a warm one uh, because it helps contour the lips. Now, I don't, I, I will never use this brush, so <laughs> it's not useful for me, maybe for makeup artists, but not for me. Oh my gosh, I think we're gonna do a whole like, lip swatch party, so I don't know why I line my lips. So the first one we have is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Matte Lipstick in the shade Blush Brown. I'll swatch it for you on my lipitas. It's super comfortable. It's an amazingly beautiful soft nude. My go-to like this. I would just pick this up and throw this in my bag. That's how safe this color is for me. The next one we have is from Makeup by Mario. Okay, fine. I'm a little obsessed with Mario. <laughs> okay, this is the Ultra Suede Lipstick. This is in the shade Kate. This would be how velvet feels you know, on the lip. If velvet and suede, I love it when brands nail their product name. It's so suede and plush feeling. This is luxness. Mm. You should kiss someone with this. It's so comfortable, oh my gosh. But again, it's the same color. I would not pick a dark color anyway. So just stick with me, these are all nude colors. The next one is Give by Gwen Stefani. And yeah, this is how she pronounced it, G-X-V-E. Beautiful, perfect, like mauve color. I don't know, Let, let's give it a shot. Oh, this smells so good. Vanilla, cupcake-y flavor in the most truest form. Like this is so beautiful. And that color is my color. Like I love this sort of a mauve nude undertone. Mm, so good. I'm gonna finish off with a lip gloss. We have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. This is the Universal Lip Luminizer in the shade Champ Stamp Fantasy. It's a very beautiful champagne -y glitter. I love glitter glosses that are not sticky and the gloss bomb is supposed to be really good. Mm, it smells so good. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? This is glowing to the gods. You guys, dude, stunning. I am so excited. Okay, so I got these lashes from Amazon India. This is the INV feathery style top quality Demi Wispies and I just wanted to give it a shot. You know, see how thick it is? So what I would typically do is cut two of these and now it's in the shape that I want it to be. So I cut from the outer corner, not from the inner corner. You see these? They're very, like you know that you have some wispies going on but it's not bad at all like i really like it genuinely I've, I've used this a lot so this is my final look i got two more products that i want to talk about um, this is the fine comfort body and hair fragrance mist by rare beauty and i tried it in the store and it was the most comforting mild mist ever and i've wanted a mist for a while sometimes i don't want to wear perfume i don't i'm Finally, I'm a perfume junkie. I literally love perfume now. Earlier, I used to get a massive headache. I think Masic Beauty has just trained me to like perfume because when you just create perfume, I think you just get into the notes and you start understanding things better. So I like and I have a lot of fragrances over there. But sometimes I just want to mist. I want to smell fresh and not too overpowering. So I heard that this was a very fine mist. A1 on the packaging, 10 on 10. I love this beautiful mauve packaging and I'm gonna smell it properly now. Shake well. Okay, ma'am. What's that fine mist? It's not even like a spray. Oh, this smells so pretty. 
that's how I can describe it. Pretty, clean, fresh. Oh my god, I want to smell like this all the time. This is not giving me a headache because guys, this is beautiful. If you can get your hands on this, I wish, I hope she drops this range in India as well because Rare Beauty is available in India. I would pick this up. It's 100 ml. It is body and hair. I definitely want my hair smelling like this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Look at these juicy lips. It's infused with biotin, niacinamide and peach flower extract to revitalize your hair and body. It's a fresh, addictive scent. That it truly is. And then I got one more product. This is the last product and we're ending the video. I picked up, you know, on the Sephora aisles, there are mini kept. You get addicted. This is the Always On Optimist 4-in-1 Spray. I already have the setting mist. I got this in a travel size because, again, I carry setting mists in my bag. And this is one of the best setting mists I've come across. I really like it. My makeup looks very soft when I put this on. Uh, this and the Charlotte Tilbury one are my favorite setting mists so far when it comes to makeup setting. And I think that's pretty much it. That is all, you guys. That's my huge Sephora haul. And I got a full face out of this. I enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every product that I apply. There's still some more to try. A lot of blushes. We have the Superstay Foundation. So stay tuned during the course of this month. Next month, I'm going to keep trying different products for you guys to test it out. I picked up the Lifter Gloss just by the way. It's just never ending. There are products I can see. This is in a 004 Silk. I love the Lifter Glosses by Maybelline. They're available in India, but not all shades. Um, fantastic affordable gloss. This is my repurchase. It's my third time purchasing the Lifter Gloss. Now we're done with the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I love you and all the links will be down below. Whatever's available in India will be down below. Whatever's in Sephora US. I will just link it all and you can decide where you want to get it from. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Mwah.